Print Studios. Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, lesson three of Guitar for the Beginners. And today we're going to go over the meat of the guitar playing, and that's chords. Um, before we get started though, I'd like to show you a couple other warm-ups, uh, finger exercises to get you um, warmed up and familiar with how your fingers are going to work uh, around the fretboard. Uh, so let me get my pick and let's go over what we did last week or a couple weeks ago and uh, we went, you know, we went the... Okay, and then if you got bold enough and started this, and so forth, that's great. But here's another one. Um, also, don't forget you can go all the way up and down the fretboard. You don't have to just stay right here. You can start on the third fret. The fifth fret and so on and so forth. So it's limitless on what you can do. What I wanted to show you today before we got started is another one is going a skipping the fret and going one to three, three, two to four. And backwards. So you can see that's going to really stretch your fingers out and get it uh, where you can really just go up and down the strings. Remember to keep your fingers on an angle like that instead of, well that was a poor choice because it sounded the same, but usually, especially on an acoustic guitar, you're going to get a deadening sound. If you're just using the meat of your fingers. There you go. Something like that. All right. So plenty of stuff to work on uh, from now until eternity, uh, going up and down the fretboards, um, stretching your fingers out and getting your fingers used to all the crazy bends and stuff. And today you'll see how that works uh, with the, uh, uh, how we play chords on the guitar. Um, so let me go through them real quick and then we'll just uh, take three of them this week. And uh, you can see that the three I picked out are pretty a standard um, chord progression you can hear in a lot of songs, uh, especially back in the uh, days when I was growing up in the 70s, the country rock and rock and roll stuff. So. Um, so we'll start with A. Here's your A chord. B. C. D. E. F. And G. I'll have the tabs in the uh, description below where you can download them and uh, have them for reference. And of course there's tons and tons of stuff there on the internet uh, for chords and beginner tabs and all that stuff. So yeah. And um, so you, you see the chords and the diagrams they have and if you're looking at the guitar it's kind of like this on the tabs that with the low E here going to the high E. So I'll show you that in the description here in a second. So the three chords I want to show you today are the D, the C, and the G. 
And but like I said, there are a lot of rock and roll songs, a lot of songs, period. Um, so here we go. What we're going to do is start on the high E. On the second fret, we're going to put our middle finger right there. So this is where the fun part comes. You want to stretch your fingers out and all that good stuff. And then on the B string, the second string, or they call it the fifth string, we're going to the third fret with our ring finger. And then on the G string, we're going to go on the second fret again with our pointer finger. So we're going to have something like this. And if you can see, I'm trying to keep my fingers curved. So you get that dead sound if you're not doing it right. So, and we're going to use the D string open and go. Working on that, that's the D chord. And then the C chord, we're really gonna get our fingers going. So on the B string, the second string from the bottom, on the first fret, we're gonna use our, pink, our pointer finger. And then the G string, we're gonna leave open. And then on the D string, which is the third one from the low E, we're going to use our middle finger on the second fret. And then finally, on the A string, the second from the e, low E, we're going to use our ring finger on the third fret. And this is where you're going to find out, you know, holding, holding your fingers to get that right sound, see? So I'm gonna to have to go up more. So yeah, this is this is gonna take a while, so don't don't feel bad if you don't get it the first day or two, the first week. That's fine. That's what uh, all this practicing is about. So okay. Now we got that, let's go to the G string. And this one is going to really be all over the place. We're going to, let's start from the top. The low E, we're going to put our ring finger on the third fret. And then we're going to go down A string, the second string, and put our middle finger on the second fret. And then we're going to take our pinky and go all the way down to the high E and put that on the third fret. So. There's your G chord. And there's different ways of playing the G chord. That's the basic way. You can also play it this way. Adding the uh, ring finger on the second uh, the third fret of the second string the B string but we just prefer to do this and you can also use your ring finger so once you get that <laughs> yeah you're gonna like wow I can't get all that you'll get it you get it just practice then what you can start doing is doing some strumming. And it'd be helpful to uh, shout out what you're doing. Like, oh, this is the D chord. Then I'm gonna change to the C chord. And then I'm going to the G chord. And this is going to take a while to get your fingers used to 
that, and then, oh, I gotta go to here, and then I gotta go here. But if you were listening, you could say, oh, wow, that sounds like a song I know, yeah. Um, the most, I'll probably get uh, dinged on this, but the most favorite, famous song with that would be Sweet Home Alabama. And it's also going to be helpful to get a tuner. I have this snark and I just put it on my headstock and then it shows me if I'm in tune or not. I'm a little off on the A. So turn it down a little bit. And when you're playing guitar for a while, you'll get used to hearing, hey, that that one string doesn't sound like it's in tune. So it's good good to have a tuner, uh, some kind of tuner. Um, if you're playing an electric guitar, they have the, uh, stomp box tuners too, where you can put on the floor and do like that. Uh, some amps even have tuners in it. So, but there's also another way, uh, but you gotta make sure that the E string is in tune and then you can tune this way. If you take the fifth fret of the E string, remember, it's an A. So our second string is an A also. So we can see that they're in tune. And then we'll go to the A string on the fifth fret also. Remember, that's a D. And then our next string is also a D, open D. And they sound like they're in tune. So we go to the third string, the D on the fifth fret again. And remember, that's a G. And then on the G string, we go to the fourth fret. And that's a B. Then we go back to the fifth fret on the B string. And that's an E. And we're back to E. So that's an easy way to check yourself, make sure it's all in tune also. And you could also do the harmonics. So it's always good to have your guitar in tune. <laughs> so once again, the D string, the D chord, I'm sorry, the D chord is your middle finger on your first string, the high E, second fret. Then you're gonna take your ring finger to the B string, the second string, on the third fret. And then we're gonna take our pointy finger, go on the G string on the second fret. And keep them up. And doing this is gonna strengthen your fingers too. And you all, you can also, I mean, you can, you can play with the open D string. If you play them all, you kind of get a, so you want to try just to stay with the first four strings. And then we go to the C. We're going to the first fret on the B string. The E string's open. And then your G string is going to be open. And you're going to go to the D, third one from the top, second fret once again with your middle finger. You get that. And to finish it off, we go to the A string, the second from the top string, on the third fret. And remember to keep your fingers up. Is using the balls or the tips of your fingers. And 
then the G string. Start from the low E, we're going to the third fret. On the A string, the second fret, using your middle finger. And then to finish it off, the high E, we're going to use our pinky on the third fret. Or you can do it like this. With your middle finger on the third fret, your pointer on the second fret, and your ring finger on the high E. So there's a couple of ways to play in G, and we'll get into more um, later on with a more, uh, more different type of chords, uh, things like that, different kind of chord looks. So work on that. I know that's going to be a lot, but that's beginning of playing the guitar. Getting these three chords down is going to help with all the other chords. Um, I think the C is probably the hardest chord to do because there's a lot of open ones. The G is pretty difficult too as a beginner and also the D. But work on those all this week and have fun with it. You can mess around with the different chord progressions. You don't have to go D, C, G. You could go G, C, D, C, G, D. You know, if you get it, just have fun with it. Alright guys, till next week, take care.